Hi, and welcome to assignment 3. The objective of assignment 3 is to understand how you can use oversampling to increase the resolution of a measurement. And to exemplify this, we will increase the ADC resolution from 12-bit to 17-bit. The important thing to remember when you're working with oversampling is that if you want to increase your resolution by n bits, you need to accumulate 4 to the power of n samples and divide the accumulated result by 2 to the power of n. As we are going from 12 to 17-bit, we need to accumulate 4 to the power of 5, which is 1024 samples, and we need to divide down the result by 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. In this example, we'll be using the internal DAC as an input to the IDC to look at the difference between the 12-bit and 17-bit result. So let's see how we have done this. We had to do some modification of the ADC init compared to the previous task. So first we have to configure the duck. Up here we set the reference voltage for the duck. And down here we set the output voltage of the duck. So the output is proportional to this number and the voltage reference. So if it's FF here, the output will be the voltage reference. And if it's zero, the output will be zero. In addition, we are setting the duck as the input and that's basically it for the init function. In the main, we have to do some scaling up and down to get the accumulated result. So we can see here that we have the high res result in the struct, where we take the result and we right shift it by 5, which is the same as dividing it by 32. For the average result, we are doing something a bit strange. So we are first, we are averaging it down to get a 12-bit result, and then we are scaling it up. This is to create a, increase the magnitude of the signal, so it's comparable to the 17-bit signal. So now the 17 and 12-bit signal are on the same scale, but they have different resolutions because all the least significant bits of the average results will, will always be zero, while for the 17-bit results, they are actually significant. But by scaling them up, we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So let's flash this onto the device. And as normal, we have to load the workspace. So this is assignment 3. We have to set up the communication. We have to set up the source. And now we can see the data. And if you zoom a bit out, the red signal is the 12-bit signal, while the green signal is the 17-bit signal. And as you can see, the 12-bit signal does quite a large jump because it is only 12-bit, while the 17-bit signal is able to do much smaller jumps in between, showing that this is a much higher resolution signal than the 12-bit signal. For this assignment, it is also recommended to take the Curiosity Nano out of the baseboard to create a bit more noise on the duck, so the signal looks similar to this. That's it for assignment 3. Thanks for tuning in.